float trip. We're gonna float nine hours today and spend the night at a bird's nest camping lodge. Sounds about right. And then we're gonna wake up and float nine hours tomorrow. So it's gonna be fun. Should be a good time. I'd say we can get there in probably like four more hours if we take our time we could probably get there sooner but yeah probably gonna clean everything up from lunch and then head on down the river <laughs> You're going in now, if I went in. Yeah. You didn't even go all the way down. You didn't go all the way down. Alright guys, we're off the river for tonight. 
Uh, we kind of we came in here on the canoe and we got out right there and uh, we drug the canoe all the way down that way to our tent and uh, this is what is this bird's nest lodge this is the place that we're at on the Merrimack River so uh, we'll show you our campsite in a second So this is our campsite here guys, uh, with a little help from my parents we got this set up, got my car here, got some brush there to burn, so start with the fire pit we got here, got uh, some fire there, got a little thing we can roast some hot dogs on there, got some chairs to sit on, pulled the canoe all the way up here from the river that's down there, and uh, here's the tent that we'll be staying in tonight. It's been a pretty long day today. I'm very, very tired. Uh, how how do you, long do you think we canoe today, Jessica? Well, we put in at like 10, right? And we got yeah. here at like 5 or 6? 5 or 6. So yeah, so probably a good 7 hours. Probably canoe today. Uh, we stopped for a while at a spring and uh, there's a rope swing that I went on a little bit. Other than that, it was a pretty good day. Tomorrow we're looking at it to be about another nine hours maybe ten hours but we're gonna wake up pretty early with the sun and uh, get on the water as soon as we can to go for that so yeah it's a good time yeah so this is what we're doing for dinner growing up some dogs warming up some beans got a nice fire going i'm hungry Well, it's the next morning now, guys. Uh, got a decent night's sleep. Most of the people here were pretty loud, but uh, we slept well anyway, so at least I did. Um, but yeah, now we're getting the camp campsite ready, and we're going to head out and get on the water again. Yippee. It's going to be another long day. Probably 10 hours of floating today to get to the next stop, which is on Onondaga Cave on the Merrimack River. Oh my god, there's a growlith nearby. I'm actually just on the river and there's a growlith nearby. Well, we're on the Merrimack still. Uh, it's been probably two hours since we've seen anybody, so we're kind of in the middle of nowhere right now. Um, it's pretty deep everywhere we've been. Uh, yeah. Kind of waiting until we see somebody else. Which, uh, I guess we got quite a ways to go too, though. But uh, we're just going to keep paddling. Yeah, so, uh, it looks pretty scary over there. There's a lot of stuff falling down, so, uh, we gotta drag the canoe, because I don't think we could have made it through that. It's a big tree. It's also getting really dark outside. Looks like it might rain. So we'll see how that goes. And before we even got back on the water, it is now raining, but at least we have our emergency panchos on. Jessica's not a big fan of it raining on the river. But, uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully we'll make it. All right, well, Jessica's ready to go. So finally, we're gonna get back on the water here uh, while it's raining. all those rafts not being used. Finally stopped raining. Not too bad out. Water's kind of still. Slowly moving. It's kind of humid. There's some creepy birds up there watching us. Just paddling along. We've got like two, three more hours left. See the sun out again. We 
there's actually more people that we see up here too. I think we're getting pretty close, probably only in an hour out from Onondaga State Park. Yeah, I think it was overall a good trip.